does size really matter? In this case, it actually does. What's going on everybody? Just G here and welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over how to size your custom cosplay armor to fit your weird little body. Two, I'll be going over how to slice your print so it can fit on your build plate. And then three, I'll be showing you how to move it around on your build plate so you can support it and slice it for whatever slicer you're using. So stay tuned because I'm gonna be throwing a lot of information at you all at once. So enjoy. All right, so let's take a look at this app, right? Things that I've got with me so I can make sure I got all the sizing properly is I got the cosplay calipers. Um, you can go check this out on Uncle Jesse's YouTube page and find the video where he features cosplay calipers. He has a link in there. You just download the link and the link will take you to a page where you can download the STL and then you can print these out. It doesn't even take a lot of filament and you don't even have to do it in a high res detail. I think I did because I'm extra, but it prints out in two little pieces. You flip one and then you print out the little spacer. And now when you use it, you can measure like arm, arm length. Can't even see me, huh? Arm length. Um, you can do your head when you want to when you want to try to size up your helmets, you know, but it they work. Um, another thing that I made sure I had was some measuring tape, soft cloth measuring tape and get it at like a hobby store or a fabric store. That'll help you get circumferences of body parts, arms, legs, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to be using that to get the measurements for my avatar right here. So you see my avatar. I have not used them yet. You have your head, nose, arms. This is the first thing you need to do, right? Is create your avatar. So we're going to do that first. The first, <laughs> the first thing to do before you start building costume is to get your avatar set up. Your avatar is a virtual version of yourself, which you use to get your costume scaled perfectly. We're going to be measuring this part right here. Should I stand up, right? I should probably stand up. Do this. All right. Hack her up. First. Uh oh. I'm gonna do a two type. So breathe out and about right here. Forty two and a half inches. Forty two and a half inches. Forty two point five. Uh oh, there you go. Forty two point five. All right, next thing we got to do is neck. The neck measurement is taken around the neck with the tape resting on your shoulders. I actually have a 3D model of my head, y'all. It is called EM3D. And there's another one called St. Scandy Pro. So there's two apps. Can y'all see that? One's called Scandy Pro right here in the middle. And the other one's called EM3D. I use those to take a 3D scan using my phone, just, just like this. I take a 3D scan of my head, and then you pay like $5 once it's finished, and then you can get a you get an actual size, like a good scan of your head. It's not the greatest model you can see, but it gets, this is what I use for, for my head because I don't have to really worry about this and I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about in a second whatever you want to do so I just did the red hood right so if I put in the red hood helmet like such I'm going to select that one
I can actually now take this. I gotta learn the quick the, the quick buttons. And then size the helmet to my head. To know if it's gonna fit. Now I'm gonna ignore all like the little pieces on the edges, but just pay attention to the overall shape of my head. And I can tell right now that this is gonna be a tight fit on my head. Like I will definitely have to scale this up if I were to use it. So if y'all are interested, this is called Scandy Pro. You can find it on the um, the App Store for Apple. I'm pretty sure you can find it for um, what's it called, Android as well. Gandy Pro, and the other one is now. Once you do make your first scan to export it, you're gonna have to pay a little bit of money to export your scans. But you only have to do a one good one. So you can keep doing them over and over again until you get a good, a good quality scan. And then you can go ahead and export it and pay like five bucks. And the other one is EM3D. EM3D. That they work, they they work. That's all I gotta say. So yeah. Alright. I guess this is this is accurate then. Let's let's put the um Let's put a piece on and see what it looks like. I'm trying to get the hang of it. Now, when you add something, you see all little spots? You just add it to that little spot, like right here on the legs. Wherever you want to, whatever you want to put it, you can just add it to that, that specific part. So it's actually easy. And then it's going to catalog it. And then it's going to catalog it on the left side for all your different parts. So I'm super glad, though, I learned how to actually use this program because now... I can just kind of fly through, fly through it. So right now I know 105 for the entire thing. And then I did 120 for the chest piece. Boom. Look at that. You looking for this? All right. So if we have the chest piece on, right? This looks weird without the back. I got to put the back on. All right. So let's. case molding like you talking about like with some sand oh, we got the back piece and let's rotate this around I'm not a big fan of the back man I don't like all that space back there but Lair we were talking about how we can put in some um Electronics, battery packs, cooling. So I think it won't I think it won't be that bad. Let's move this piece out of the way. Let's put you up there. It's so much easier adding it because I like a little skill gap, bro. It's, there's a there's a skill gap to this. See, it wasn't that hard to get it back. Now look, watch. Bam. Save. <laughs> All right, so this is what we'll do then. Let's take it out of here. Let's take the chest piece. Export. Export. 
Export as model or export as part? We're going to export as model. As a STL. We're going to do War Machine, Just G, Front, Chest, Sized. There you go. War Machine, Just G, Front, Chest, Sized. I know exactly what that means. We're going to go to the War Machine. Create a new folder. Size armor. Now I'll, I'll know exactly where it is. You said this joint not that friendly. It's not. It isn't that friendly. But if you got time, you know what I'm saying? If you got time, then, then it'd be perfectly friendly. All right, save. While I was exporting, if you guys haven't subbed yet, sub to me. I post videos every week. <laughs> I left all the link down to all my other socials. After I jump off of this, I'm gonna hop over to Twitch and then I'm gonna be streaming some Apex Legends. Got it out of the way, nice and quick, see? I'm good at this. Here's my printer <laughs> and here's the piece I got to get printed. All right. So what we're going to do now is make our plane cut here and I got rid of it. Oh, redo. Sorry. And keep both halves, except now we made our cut. You can't see anything because we got to separate shells. Once we separate shells, we're going to have three pieces. One, Two, the bottom, and three. Uh, I think we can join two and three again. There we go. We can join that back up. So we're going to take this piece. And we're going to move it to our build plate. And drop it down on the bill plate. So now it'll print perfectly on the I can't see it. Move. On the on the bill plate. And if you have to, you can move it up. So what you want to do is take this piece. Pretty sure we can save just this piece, right? Yeah. Take that one piece. I have that's that one piece highlighted. And we're going to export STL upper left chest. I'm going to save it where I can find it. So we're going to put in our war machine folder and in our size armor 101. Is that upper right? That's upper right. Upper right chest, save STL. So let's say print it like this. All my settings are same, but I got tree supports, 80, 70% overhang, because it can handle that. Might be able to handle 75, less supports, 
Because let's see how many it would take to get to those first layers. Yeah, I only need like this much. And then I'll see how much it looks like ass. But it does, yeah. It saves it saves eight hours, seven hours. Thanks everybody for continuing to show your support for me and tuning into these videos. I know this was a lot of information, so I really do hope you guys got all of that. So if you guys have any questions or you want me to break down something that I said deeper, go ahead and leave it down in the comments for me. If you like this content or you learned something from it, go ahead and give this video a like. Trust me, it helps so much more than you think. Subscribe so you can catch more videos just like this one. That's going to be about it for me. Everyone have a great rest of your day. God bless you. Peace out.